Hello everyone, it's Rachel from Rock and K Adventures here. Um, so today I'm in the greenhouse. Um, we are starting to add the accessories and get it ready to become a greenhouse. And one of the things that I had ordered was a raised bed. It's uh, by the extra large.com is who would order. Well, we ordered it off of Amazon, but that's who makes it. And it's supposed to be pretty easy to put together. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So here we go. It's a pretty big bag of hardware. These are the support struts for the inside and maybe one of the corner beads. Comes with gloves. On the outside of the box it has a big warning that says cover your hands, be careful or something along those lines. So apparently the metal is quite sharp. It's not supposed to need any tools besides the Allen wrench that comes with it. So we shall see. So it looks like everything is labeled. So hello again friends. So yesterday when I was trying to put this together, the camera overheated very quickly into me putting this together. So I stopped to wait for the camera to cool down and by the time that happened I had to cook dinner and you know, do all the other stuff you have to do, feed the animals, whatnot. So today I'm back on it and we will pick up where I left off. And today I have a camera sitting, or a fan sitting behind the camera. So hopefully it won't overheat today, but we'll see. Hey y'all, so Rachel is working on her raised bed again. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. So she had to move. She had to move, so I gotta move you down the other end because the light is just gonna kill you. This is way too hot outside. Yep. So she was doing it in the greenhouse, which I mean come on, it's the greenhouse. It's the hot. So we're gonna set you up. And don't know how long you're gonna last because the battery is telling me it's about halfway. So um, we'll hope for the best, right? And uh, yeah, you can uh, watch Ray do this and she'll talk you through some of the steps that she's doing. And yeah, I got, I got to go up the other side and take care of some business over there. So this day on the farm. enjoy the show.
hired from the other side. I'm having her difficulties getting hold of here. solid it seems. It was kind of flimsy before so hopefully that uh, stiffens it up some. I'm going to stand this one up and get the other one the other side made. Okay folks so we had to switch cameras. The other one ran out of battery. So the quality is probably going to look a little different because it's two different kinds of cameras. But we will continue on on this build. on, putting the ends on, and ultimately putting everything together. Okay, folks, so it's done. I'm not going to say it was an easy build, because it was not. 
We it's, are, a, it's an okay setup. We got to do a lot of modifications. We're, we're going to do a little bit of mods, and it's not so much that it's a bad setup. It's not. That's not the case. It's when we put it in there, we want to leave it there and never mess with it again. And while this would be okay for you know a couple of years, I think we're going to need to add some more metal to it just to make it. Because neither it's, one of us are graceful, and we're going to dent this thing, bend this thing. Oh yeah, definitely. So. Honestly, if we just spend a little bit of time and a little bit of money, um, we could probably get away with like spending about 20, 20 bucks and strengthening it up a little bit. Um, part of what I might do is take some conduit and cut a slot on it and drop it all down on the, on the edge of this, this metal because you're going to want to tend to lean and, and you're going to be up against this and it's really just the metal. So I, I do think it's, it's, it's not a bad setup. It's just we're gonna make it a better setup. Yeah. So so that it lasts a long time. But we'll we'll be back when we pick this thing up and actually get it into the greenhouse. So yeah, that's that's coming. It's not that heavy. It's just gonna be awkward. Yeah. So we'll be back with that. What is up, y'all? So we are out here doing a little bit of cleanup work. As you can see behind me, that's the cow barn. And there's pallets and all kinds of wood and uh, yeah so what we're doing is we got a little fire going yeah it's warm out here but it's also just finished raining so the uh, potential of having an issue with like a brush fire very low but I figured I'd just get the fire going and we're gonna have a you know just a nice on the small side a uh, little fire going most of the day because it is early in the day and this will let me get rid of a lot of these, you know, these all these rotten pallets and everything. Um, we would recycle them or, you know, bring them to the recycling station. But because there's nails in it, they want us to remove all the nails and stuff. And, yeah, I don't know if you've ever broken down pallets, but that takes a lot of work. So what we're doing is we're burning the... the, the <laughs> The few pallets we have left so um, yeah uh, in there also is the remnants of what the fireworks were so there was a little firework just went off kind of kind of made me jump but uh, we haven't had a f really had fire this year we had uh, a couple of small ones um, this is gonna be the first time that I've actually burned all day uh, but it'll let me get rid of all this scrap wood and, uh, you know, uh, return the carbon. So, wish I could burn it in the wood stove, but, uh, the nails and stuff will, there it happened again, it'll ruin the wood stove. So, that's not going to work. Um, we'll just let it do its thing. Yeah. So, we'll be off doing other things at the same time. In fact, here comes Rachel. She was over weed whacking. Um, I'm going to probably go grab that weed whacker and clean up around the fire pit. If you look, there is a bit of tall grass around it. Um, I let the fire burn some of it back, and there's no worries. I have uh, a water hose with me in case it wants to try to get out of control. I can just hose it down. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll move on to other things at the same time here. So... We'll be back with you. All right, y'all, so it's finally, <clears throat> it's finally time to move the planting bed. Plus, it'll give you a little bit better uh, view of what it actually looks like now that it's all put together. So we got that fire going out back, and now we're, we're going to move this. And, yeah, then I'm going to go back out and keep little bits on that fire, just keep it simmering along. So we'll get this thing moved. All right, we got her in the greenhouse, and I'll flip around. So as you can see, the color's close between the two, the two anthracites. Um, we do need to do another coat out here, but it had to be stood up 
to get it through the door. So not this way, but that way. Um, but yeah. So that's what it looks like. We have um, we have to do some strengthening of it and such. And yeah, so pretty cool. Now, I'll tell you what, it's hot in there. Let me get out here. Uh, that wraps up getting it in the greenhouse. Um, so we'll put this all together um, along with the little, the little fire video of me getting a fire going. And uh, we'll get this out to you. Uh, there's a whole bunch more going on still. So uh, I'll be putting together more and more, more and more video. I am still actively working on the electricity for the lower barn. So that's coming out too. Um, it's just a slew of, of content headed your way. Um, so that wraps this one up so I can get a video out to you right away. And you know my motto, if you're thinking about family, if you're thinking about friends, give them the WhatsApp or the WhatsApp. You know you'd love to hear from them too. And until the next installment, Auf Wiedersehen. Mm -hmm.